as if I needed any more tools. The lady from that estate sale that I showed you recently, she said she had more tools for me to check out, so here they are. Let's check out what's in this bin of tools. Some snips, flathead screwdriver, Phillips, this is a channel lock screwdriver. More uh, screwdrivers here. A wrench from Duralast. Great neck. Here's a breaker bar from Challenger. I think they uh, uh, maybe are a part of Proto. I don't. I can never remember. I have a 19 millimeter socket on there and this little uh, 3 8 breaker bar. A Craftsman Ratchet, VT44811, and it actually works, but it's kind of skipping, so you already know what's going to be in, the fu in a future video. Cheap set of uh, Torx uh, screwdriver with a lot of electrical tape on it, painter's tape screwdriver. It's from SK? Yeah, it's from SK. Nice uh, hex shank there, that way you can put a wrench on there and get more leverage. Door hinge, screwdriver, wrench from Harbor Freight. Nice set of Allen, longer kind of Allen bits from Elkland Tool, Chicago. And then looks like we have some Torx here from Craftsman. I always like a Oh, it looks like we're missing one, so maybe we can find it. Valve, screwdriver, screwdriver, small little wrench here from Craftsman, quarter inch drive, Sears wrench, Pittsburgh, and then some looks like more wrenches, bits, a socket here from Craftsman. And yeah. Oh, there's our Torx bit. Happy day. A full set. Nice little work light. These are all right, but I like my uh, LED one a lot better. It gives us a lot more light and it's a lot easier on the eyes. Looks like some wire nut screws and Different little fasteners in that bin. Got some side cutters. More side cutters. Stape or brad nails. Brad nails, crown staples, and more fasteners. Looks like a whole host of uh, bits here. A lot missing, but that's it. Looks like a uh, saw here, from Black and Decker. Let's see if we have the battery. Some uh, bits here for a router. Do different profiles of uh, molding. And more brad nails. <laughs> Looks like a handbook or a manual. Some uh, stuff from General Electric here. Lots of paperwork, so I guess we'll have to recycle all that for use of the SL15 only. Some kind of charger, I'm guessing. Got a little, uh, is that an air hammer? All trade, which I know is not the highest quality of a material, but I don't have one, so that makes it nice. Battery and some chargers here. 
Another battery. And lastly, a screwdriver or a Torx driver. This looks like it'll be fun. What do we got here? Looks like we've got a Craftsman vice grip. There's the patent number. That looks like a really old tool. Got a screwdriver here. Another really long screwdriver here. Hinges. Ratchet from Thorson. Spade bit. Chisel from Stanley. Uh, I think that's, uh, it's annoying me that I don't know if this off the top of my head. Something mechanic, I don't know. I'll kick myself for forgetting. Looks like a ratcheting screwdriver that you can, oh, that's cool. You can angle it. Or you can have it straight on. Cool. Uh, I'll just take out this stuff and make it a little bit quicker. So some junk sockets, torque screwdriver from Benchtop, Allen keys, magnetic parts, bits, some sockets here from, you know, my favorite, Craftsman. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. A little vice. I mean, vice. A little anvil. That's kind of cool. In India. Um, some more bits. A ratchet. That probably is not that great. Some channel locks. This is a drill bit set from Matco. And most of the bits look like they're in there. That's a miracle in and of itself. It's cool. Another ratchet from yeah, no one. And inch double and the socket here. There you go. Pull back this top hatch to reveal a whole host of tools. Got some impact sockets, some more sockets, screwdrivers, scraper here from Mac. I'll go nice to the other one I found. Some wrenches here, cheap ratchet, screwdrivers. Some bolt grip sockets, those are nice. Kind of help extract out maybe some rounded fasteners. Set of uh, some Allen sockets. Some more Craftsman sockets. Just, yeah, lots of goodies. Ratcheting wrench. Some swivels. Find a who makes oh these are from maybe from Snap On. Yep, some Snap On swivels. So a decent uh, lot here. Let's see what we got in these drawers, and I have done some cleaning because the smell from the mice was really bad. So I have gotten a preview, and I cleaned up a lot of this stuff. It's like an adjustable wrench from Black and Decker. A scraper. Adjustable wrench, tubing cutter here from Superior Tool, and five-piece insert bit screwdriver set. Wrench there, 
few uh, tools and some blades, coolant tester, and some odd and ends. Drawers could use a little lubrication, but you know, one thing at a time. I think the next step here is to go through and actually clean out all these really good because the smell, like I said, is just really tough. Some uh, sockets there. Looks like some Stanley sockets. I'm glad most of these drawers do work. That's always nice. Sometimes I gamble with these older style. Looks like an SK bit driver, reamer, a knife, a punch, and other junk. Oh, we just looked through that. Deja vu, right? Look through this drawer. So there's a lot more here. A lot of neat stuff. I guess I'll never have to buy utility blades again. Screwdrivers, some little screwdrivers, Craftsman Professional screwdrivers. The handles on those are just my favorite. Long pair of crimpers from Blue Point, which uh, snap on basically. A socket driver, a nut driver from KR. Uh, some cheap cutters, a big impact screwdriver, flathead, and just a lot more screwdrivers here. Carabiner, a hat here. Oof, that, I'm sorry to be a broken record, but man, that smell. So yeah, lots of, lots of screwdrivers, that's for sure. Looks like some wrenches from Craftsman, some screwdrivers, more no-namers. Sockets, some companion, yeah, lots of craftsmen, which I can't uh, complain about. Very excited about that. Hex, cutters, more sockets, quick connect, lots of craftsmen, lots and lots of craftsmen. Crescent, alligator, pl pliers. Lots of wrenches, another crimper. I guess you can see everything I can see, right? Tubing cutter, yeah. Punch, and a nice uh, screwdriver here. Now, inside the mystery chest. Let's see what we got. So some O-rings, those might not be any good. A speed clamp. Looks like a practically new biscuit joiner from Harbor Freight. Some hardware, a paint roller, bolts, nuts. It looks like I don't really see many bolts or nuts. Looks like we got some sandpaper. There's some bolts. Some... Uh, Quick connects for presser. Got a uh, ratchet, tap, and looks like some cabinet hardware. And some more goodies down there. What is this? Some more staples, it looks like, and that'll uh, take us there. What else do we have? Looks like a sander from Harbor Freight. And lots of chargers and old drills. Looks like a little roller here. I think this is yeah, a little, nice little roller right there. Uh, sand belts. We already saw that. Let's get joined. Okay, more paper. Some foam. What are these guys? Hole saw. Well. 
there you go. Hole saw kit. And I'm guessing this is probably the same exact thing. Yep. So two hole saw kits. And then a screwdriver. Nut driver, or I guess not really a nut driver, a socket driver, which I love these type where you can actually put an extension in, get a little leverage, and towels. And there are towels. So would you look at that? A nice little assortment of different things, that's for sure. I want to show you this side locker. I think it's so cool and it's in really good condition besides the kind of paint going off on the top. The drawers all work really great. From the MB Century Company, I think I showed you one of their toolboxes before, and this thing is really cool. Let's take a look. So we got two drawers here on the top, and then those two open drawers right there are those shelves. Lots of uh, paperwork here, so don't worry about that. But it looks like there's some uh, information. Look at that. AC service, so there might be some cool things to see in there. Underneath here, Talk about electrical connectors and uh, locks without uh, keys. Under here, we got some parts, it looks like. Oil road lighting. For a weed eater, it looks like that's what that is. Some channel locks, reflective tape. And those, that's the hardware that uh, held the box onto the toolbox. Then down here, these are all just lathe tools. From Pittsburgh. And a lot of rags. So, looks like, what is this? Zip ties? Nope. Looks like it's line. Trimmer line. Pretty cool. And then these things were on it and around it. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's like, for example, this one. What is this? Anybody know? He worked on police cars, so I don't know. But it's just, it's heavy and it's magnetic. I don't know why you'd hold on to it, but that's why I'm thinking there's a story. And then this guy, just another magnet. I don't know. And unfortunately no key for that lock. Top drawer, something that I haven't actually seen before, is a nice little work surface. It definitely is uh, gross, but that's pretty cool. Drawer number two, look at that. Both the mice and I really love this drawer. I mean, just tools and watches and washers galore and keys and bolts and screwdrivers. I mean, you can't go wrong. Flare nut wrenches, more cutters, just random assortments of different things that you just don't know until you actually spend the time and go through each individual piece here. So, that will be fun to go through and see what is actually in here. Because, I mean, you just, the longer you look, the more you find. Anything catching your eye? It's like a holder for a pocket screwdriver, but. Cool. Here it is again, even more stuff. Screwdrivers, bulbs, instructions, nut drivers, washers, giant snap ring pliers, made by, who knows? Wrenches, old batteries, I mean, Another man's trash is another man's treasure. Is that a shower head? What is that? That's what I'm saying. You just, 
it's just really cool to go through this stuff and learn. That's really all I can say. Just, just lots to learn here. Looks like we have a little wrench holder from Mac. That's kind of nice. Especially with all the new uh, sets of wrenches I got. This glass scraper and wrenches. Some crow's feet. Not a fancy name brand, but that's okay. I mean, I don't have any, so it'd be cool to have a, a set now. Blades from Mac. Matco. I've seen a lot of Matco stuff, so I think he had a, a preference. Yeah, lots of keys galore. This drawer takes a lot of force to open, so I'm gonna have to give some lubrication to this side because it is awful. Anyway, chargers, lines, bits, lots of larger bits, a brace. I can't see who made this. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. Ooh, nice. Retaining rings. Those will be really handy. Okay. I have one of these ratcheting screwdrivers. Kind of fun. Nut driver. I don't know what that is. Looks like it clipped onto something in flashlight. I don't know. Carburetor. Big flashlight. Pry bar. Looks like some fasteners. Sticky notes. Big uh, channel locks. A Yankee screwdriver. Kind of cool. With, looks like almost all the bits in the bottom. Nice. Uh, it's like a radio here. A little tool set. Some brushes. Uh, what is that? Some handle? I have no idea what that is. No idea. Angle drill. Different bits. Yummy. Spigot. This drawer is lots of goodies see what's in this case it's like a set of uh, sockets and whatnot then got some casters nails it's like an air hammer from all trade handle uh, what is this fence mount bracket Brad nails. Car part. Ignition tune up. There's the parts it services. Pump. And yeah, just a lot of other surprises. This last drawer is starting to come out a little bit, so I gotta give some attention to this. Let's see what's in this plastic container okay I think I've seen I, I think it's like a surveying kit or something I don't know a leveler I don't know help me out guys guys and gals all I know is there's a laser involved it 
looks like we got whoa just talk about this is probably the collection drawer got a puller one part of the puller. oh there's the rest of the puller uh lights and just look at all this stuff some people might think it's uh overwhelming to go through it but i just think it's so cool to just see you know all the history i mean you think a mechanic that works on cars lots of parts and lots of things they need and i just think it's so cool all right what is this guy in out some kind of filter i'm guessing just throwing me off because it's it's metal on the bottom anyway um yeah just lots of lots of memories lots of stories in all of these parts valves and clear silicone you just i don't know i think it's so fascinating you didn't see this yet but the box comes with a side tray needs a lot of cleaning but i thought that was pretty cool for this box of treasures we'll start out with this case from black and decker that has a jigsaw looks practically brand new with some blades there, hiding in the back. Lots of sandpaper and sanding discs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine things of sandpaper. Looks like we have a saw blade. Brand new uh, electric stapler. And Brad Tacker. I guess another one. Charger. Let's see if we can find the batteries for that guy. Here's a drill from Black & Decker. This guy. Oh, a half inch impact. And it looks like you can even convert it so you can use it with your battery. That's kind of nice. So there you go, an impact gun. That's any good. A square or straight edge, I guess, from uh, what is this from? I don't know. Can't find a name. A clamp. A giant adjustable wrench from Proto, and then a stepping stool, some biscuits for that biscuit joiner I got, a drill from Craftsman, Soldering iron. Some hardware from cabinets. Pittsburgh puller set. It feels pretty heavy, so I'm wondering if it's intact. It looks like it has not been used. So that's pretty cool. Sander here. I'm wondering if a lot of this stuff was just stuff he would dedicate for home since uh, 
a lot of this stuff is new and he was a mechanic. Shop mate, oscillating sander. Uh, I don't know if I trust that. Uh, what is this, another soldering iron? Yep. With solder, that's kind of cool. Neat, nice little kit there. All right, another Black & Decker sander. I say another because uh, in the last lot that I got from this, they had like two or these, three of these. So he must have really liked sanding. Sledge. Just tons of extension cords. I won't bore you with the details. Extension there. Oh, lovely. All these staples that are now all over the place in the box. And a screwdriver. That's pretty much it, besides some more uh, bungee cords and whatnot. So, cool stuff. This big case. We have a circular saw. This drill. Just kidding, we don't. And this guy looks like we got some various supplies here battery, anchors, drill bits galore, a wrench, and then a light switch. So, a little, little mini guy. Very cool. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you have any questions or comments, please put it below. I really relish in your guys' knowledge and all the things I've learned, and I know other viewers do too. So if you have any uh, knowledge or any of these tools or any fun stories about some of these tools, definitely let me know below. I know we'll all appreciate it. So thanks for watching. I've got some cool ideas uh, in store for some of these tools as well as uh, maybe some next steps from this toolbox. And yeah, stick around, and uh, we'll see what we can do with this stuff. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.